Okay, everyone. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all doing well. I hope you had a very good Memorial Day. And we're uh, back, okay, in our regular schedule, program schedule, okay? It's Tuesday. You know what we're doing. You know where we done came from, and it is what it is. But this is for Portia Williams, pretty much. We're going to let you hear a little clip off of Steve Harvey's show. He had his wife, Marjorie, uh, you know, coming over there telling her side of the story of how things went down when Steve was single and he was going to live his life a certain way. And she went with the bullshit. So she just set the tone. So Portia, again, this woman came in. I ain't going to say uh, she took the uh, took Steve from his wife. That's what they had saying out there. This, that, and the third. And they said she was a, a past pimp girlfriend or whatnot. A drug dealer girlfriend. Uh, but it is what it is. She's with Steve now. And I guess that's the only thing that counts. But she was telling Steve how their relationship was going to roll. And if he didn't like it, he couldn't get with the set rules. He couldn't respect her in the way she wanted to be appreciated and respected. She going to bounce. And Steve caved in. Okay, so let's take a listen to what she had to say. And we want Portia to pay very close attention to this. Let me just say this. You have to trust yourself. As far as when Steve and I got together... He had a whole nother idea of what he was planning on doing after his divorce. He was planning on having a arrival and departure to ske schedule on his door. Mm. And when you got there, you signed in, you saw what time you got there, and then the next one she'd leave and then the next yeah. one come in. Yeah. Oh, and I said, well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah okay. That's, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I was going to do. Gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> but my name was going to be on that list. Right. So she if, said if her name wasn't going to gonna be on that list. Want, and if he wants you, then he knows what it's going to take for you. Amen. And that's what I call uh, a very soft threat. Uh, let me just say this. You have to trust yourself. As far as when Steve and I got together, he had a whole nother idea of what he was planning on doing after his divorce. Mm. He was planning on having a arrival and departure to ske schedule on his door. Mm. And when you got there, you signed in, you saw what time you got there, and then the next one she'd leave, and then the next yeah, one come in. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I said, well, that's fine. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I was going to do. do. <laughs> <laughs> but my name is going to be on that list. Right. So it, it, it's one of those things. Once you know what you want, and if he wants you, then he knows what it's going to take for you. And that's what I call uh, a very soft threat. Let me just say this. Okay. And so I'm like, see, that's what I'm saying, Portia. You don't have to be tied up with all these men. You don't have to show your ass, your body. You don't have to be clapping. You don't have to be partying. You don't have to be doing things that you really feel you shouldn't really be doing. Trust yourself. Trust your instinct. And do what your book had said that you had evolved into which was learning from your mistakes and moving forward and being a better person and loving on yourself but lately you you've been talking about this man love you and he's showing you the kind of love that you needed you deserve first you gotta love yourself first baby that's the first tool of the trade love yourself first and when somebody see that you're loving on yourself you don't need nobody else they're going to definitely be attracted to you because you got it going on. But when you show your uh, vulnerability and you show your insecurities, you're going to meet men like Simon's. The ones that feel like they need to help you. They need to control you. They need to uh, fix you in a sense. And you don't need that type of man. Simon said he, he don't know why he's attracted to broken women. He just feels like he needs to fix everybody. Or fix the lady that he is with. In order for her to survive. And I said no. What he's trying to do is take advantage of you. Manipulate you. And see you as a servant of his. That's what Simon is doing. For you Portia. And to you Portia. So until you love yourself. And you know you can get the shit on your own, whatever it be, house cars, uh, boat, uh, traveling, all those worldly type things that you want. Once a man know you can do it for yourself, you don't need them. Then they have to think of a way of coming at you another whole different scenario. 
Okay, because you got all that they can give you money wise. What can they give you that's going to feed your soul? You know what I'm saying? Or they're going to provide a peaceful area and environment for you to thrive in. For y'all to thrive in together. But see, you see, you have shown him that you need him. Financially, spiritually, and emotionally. You don't get nobody that type of control over you, Portia. You just don't do that. So, you might need to go on and look at a little self-help movies, skits, books, articles, and get yourself together. Because Simon needs you more than you think you need Simon. Because you had two lucrative jobs prior to meeting him. After meeting him, you just threw them all out the window. Like, who does that? What type of same person does that? Until they have checked out the credibility of his accounts. Okay. And probably do an investigation where you hire a PI person. And let him go skipping through the body of his I'm just saying. That's what the people that do. That do their due diligence. They vet people. Another word for research. They research a person's out. From their medical portfolio. To their financial portfolio. And they vet their ex-girlfriends. Ex-wives. If they need to be doing that. Because this will make your second marriage. And we're going to talk about how many failed relationships you had. But it's all about loving yourself. Knowing yourself. And abiding by those rules you set for yourself. And for you to be emotionally stable. And ready to take on somebody else's mess. Okay. Because everybody got a little mess here and there. But when you kind of messed up yourself. You got to get self straightened out before you can help somebody else out. Alright. But I just thought that was very pivotal. And I needed to let you hear that. Of what Marjorie was saying. Steve may have had all the wealth in the world on travel, well, well versed in traveling, well versed in knowing a lot of celebrities, as well as the illuminated ones. And she saw that's the life she wanted because she was really almost there in it anyway. It would just be same environment, just different person she's spending her time with. Because we do know how doggish Steve was with his exes and his ex-wives. But Marjorie came from a different, what do you call it? She came from a different position of how she wanted to get Steve. And Steve fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. But that's a woman that knows her worth. She knows what she wants, and she's not going to stop until she gets it. So, Portia, why are you still a glorified girlfriend shacking up with a man? And you're nowhere on the paperwork as wife. But you're calling yourself a wife. He's calling you his wife. What a big joke. What a big disappointment. Don't let no man use you like that girl. Stop calling that man your fiance. Okay. Stop just addressing him at all in public to people. Until he do right by you and marry you. Because he can go out there tomorrow. Go straight to the courthouse. And you you can become Mrs. Kabadi. In ink. On paper. And it's validated. But for some reason. He won't do that with you. He just won't do it. Because you don't have to have three weddings. You don't even have to have a wedding. You've been married before. He, he done been married before. Have a big old party. But that's just my thoughts. But I thought I would just break that little nugget down to you. Of another successful woman out there doing what she make it do. Okay. Because we all have our thoughts. We all have our past. But our past should not predict our future. Or our present. Okay. But I'll see y'all next video guys. And definitely share and subscribe to the channel. Go over to the other channel and subscribe. Because I have other things I'm talking about. That's not housewives related. That's not H or. <coughs> excuse me. Not related to the women that I present commentary on over here it's a totally different atmosphere on the other side but it still gives you lots of love informative information and a lot of laughs okay and i'll see y'all next video bye bye